Hi, I'm Lindsay. I work in the admissions office at Central Oregon Community College in Bend, Oregon. We're super excited to be here with you today and to share why you should apply to COCC. Hi, I'm Sophia. I work in the admissions office as well with Lindsay at COCC in Bend, and we are very excited to show you about our campus and what it has to offer. So today we will talk about why apply to COCC and the benefits of that who should apply, the different academic programs that we offer at COCC, life on campus and getting involved, whether that be with an on-campus job or living on campus or the different intramural sports or clubs. There's always something for everybody. And then the differences between cost and the ways to pay for tuition on our campus and the different resources we offer and then what you need to apply and the different enrollment steps with that. So starting off with the question of why apply to COCC, first and foremost, affordability. We know that college is getting more and more expensive every year and that can be a burden on students. And we're super proud to offer one of the most affordable tuitions in Oregon. And we offer a lot of great scholarships as well to help you pay for that. Um, so that is something that's possible for everybody. Um, also, we have small class sizes. So our average class size is in the low 20s and the student to faculty ratio is 19 to 1. So that means you will know your instructor. They will know you. You will know your classmates. And it's a great learning environment. Um, we have over 70 programs, so chances are we will most likely offer what you're looking for. Um, we have career technical programs, we have transfer programs, and we'll talk a lot more about that in a little bit here. Um, and then accessibility. What that means is everybody that applies to COCC is accepted. We don't have any entrance requirements, so everyone that applies becomes a COCC Bobcat. Um, and then lastly, location. You can see from the beautiful picture here of our campus, it is not a bad spot to go to school and to live for a few years. So our main campus is located in the heart of Northwest Bend, and we also have smaller campuses in uh, Madras, Prineville, and Redmond. And who should apply to COCC? Everybody should apply. All students are welcome. Lindsay talked about in the last slide that the accessibility piece is huge. We accept everybody. So no need of taking your GPA or test scores. We welcome all. And the requirements for that are just one of the three things. So you either have to be 18 years of age or have your high school diploma or a GED. So this is an overview of the different um, kind of academic programs that we offer at COCC. So we kind of split them into two different categories. The first being career and technical. So career and technical programs tend to be a little bit more hands-on and the intent behind that is to get you the skills that you need and then enter the workforce after you graduate. And some of these are certificate programs and some of these are full associate degree programs depending on the, the academic program that you're going for. Um, so these are programs like automotive, aviation, culinary, vet tech, nursing, fire science, criminal justice, um, manufacturing, and so many more. So if you really enjoy hands-on learning and you're one of those students thinking, I'm not going to college, I don't like sitting in the traditional classroom all day long, still consider college for these reasons right here. There are some great um, programs that are not a ton of time, not a lot of money, and it enters, uh, you, you start a great industry after that and have a really solid career. So those are kind of the career and technical side of things. And then we also have transfer. So the intent behind a transfer program is to move you onto a university after your time at the community college. So maybe you don't meet the insurance requirements of that university you wanna get into, or maybe you just want to save some money and have those smaller classes that a community college offers. That's a great way to do that. Um, you can take your lower first and second year courses that you would traditionally take at a university with a community college and then transfer on. So these are programs like um, computer science, sociology, art, forestry, uh, history, education, math, and many, many more. Um, and then we also know that there are so many students out there that don't know what they want to study. So if that's you, again, don't let that hold you back from college. We have something called exploratory, and that would allow you to get your 
you know, your feet wet and try to figure out what might be a good fit for you career-wise before you commit to a program. And so with Life on Campus, we have the amazing Wiki of Residence Hall, and it was built in 2015, so it's fairly new, and it holds about 330 students. So a lot of students from all over the place come and stay at Wiki of Residence Hall. And that is a great way to meet people, stay involved on campus. You have maybe even a 10 minute walk to your classes. So it's a very, very good place to start out with just from graduating high school and coming to college and you still get that student life piece of it all. And if you are wanting to have a job while going to school, we do offer a lot of on-campus jobs, whether that be giving tours on campus, being a tutor, you could work in the gym, the library. There are so many jobs on campus that we do offer, and that can either be a, a work study or not. We have both, and so Lindsay will definitely talk about work study here soon. Um, we do offer intramural and club sports. So that's a really fun way for students to get involved. Club sports are more competitive and intramural is just for fun. You can just join and have a good time for a couple hours with your friends and students that you have met on campus. We do have diversity and inclusion programs. So that can either be our Latinx or LGBTQ programs. Um, that is a really good way for students to get involved if you do not want to do the intramural club sports and also to meet people. Student government is also a paid job on campus and so is the student newspaper. So a lot of students who are maybe wanting to do journalism or communications do go into the student newspaper as an on-campus job, which is pretty awesome. And then we do have different student clubs and programs like the math club or we have a psychology club, um, culinary club as well. So there's a ton of different things for everybody on campus. So what does the tuition look like at CACC? We mentioned how affordable it is and we do our tuition a little bit differently than some schools. So we do what we call in district for our local Central Oregon students. So if you are one of our local students, it is $109 per credit. So you'd be looking at about $4,500 for the school year for three terms, fall, winter, and spring, 12 credits each term. If you are coming to us from outside of the Central Oregon area or even one of our border states, it's $153 a credit. So that puts you at about a little over $6,000 for the school year. Again, three terms, 12 credits. So either way, that's a really affordable start to your college career. So next we'll talk about, now that, now that you know the cost, how do you actually pay for college? And I hope that you're learning this in a lot of your classes already, and you're hearing some of these acronyms thrown around um, at your school. But first and foremost, we encourage students to apply for the FAFSA or the ORSA. You do one or the other. Um, the FAFSA is the free application for federal student aid. And if you're not eligible for the FAFSA, you can apply for the ORSA, and that's the Oregon Student Aid application. When you file for one of those, um, that's what potentially um, qualifies you for grants, work study, and loans. So a grant is free money based on income, and that's, like I said, free money, so you don't have to pay that back. That goes towards your tuition, which is, which is awesome. Work study money is just as it sounds. You're working on campus and you're getting a paycheck, just like Sophia mentioned. And then lastly, we have student loans. So loans are there to help you, but you do have to pay them back with interest. So those are the types of funding that you might be eligible for through FAFSA or ORSA. And then next we have Oregon Promise. So you might have heard of this already. Some students call it free community college. It can help you pay for your tuition at an Oregon community college, but it isn't fully free community college. So if you are graduating from an Oregon high school and you have a 2.5 GPA or higher and you file the FAFSA or the ORSA and you apply for Oregon Promise, you might be eligible for some free money to help pay for your tuition if you go to an Oregon community college within six months of your graduation. So I'd recommend checking out their website to learn more and to find the application. And then lastly, scholarships. So, so I'm sure you've all heard of scholarships. I think the thing that we think of the most is athletic scholarships, but there are scholarships out there for everybody. Um, at COCC in particular, we have a foundation scholarship and they give out so much money to our students. Um, this year they gave out $1.7 million in scholarships for over 400 scholarships. 
So I'd really encourage you to apply for that um, application if you are coming our way to COCC. Um, next, we have OSAC. So you might have heard of the OSAC. It is one scholarship application, hundreds of scholarships. So it is a lengthy application, but it is worth your time and energy. So I'd encourage you to take a look at OSAC. And then lastly, community scholarships. So get in your future center, your college and career center, connect with your counselors. Usually each community has a lot of free money to be given away to their seniors. So I'd encourage you to go check it out, see what's happening. They have scholarships for um, not just sports, but also leadership and academics. There was a scholarship for redheads when I was in college or when I was in high school. There's literally scholarships out there for everybody. So I would just encourage you to spend some time researching and see what's there because that might pay for a good chunk of your college, if not all of it, if you put in the hard work. And now we are going to talk about our resources that COCC has on campus. So one of our resources is called our CAP Services, and that stands for Career Advising and Personal Counseling. And so they can help you with, with the career service part if you want to, you know, go on a job shadow on in the community or need help writing a resume or a cover, cover letter, they will help you do all of that because that is overwhelming and it is a new thing to start at. And so they are more than happy to help you. And with personal counseling, students get five free personal counseling sessions for the year. And that's an amazing resource. If you just need someone to talk to, they are more than happy to do that for you. And then tutoring is free for all students on campus. And so that is in our library. And we also have our disability services in our library as well. And that offers a ton of different accommodations for the classroom for, the, for our students on campus. And then in our library, again, is our computer labs and there are printing services in there. So copying machines, printing machines, and our testing center as well. And so our testing center is super awesome. If you get sick or go on vacation or if your car breaks down and you miss a test that day, you can email your instructor. They will send the test down there and you can take it and not get a zero on it. So there are a lot of resources for our students on campus. So now that you all want to apply to COCC, how do you actually do that? So like I said, everyone that applies gets in. So you just submit an application. It takes about 10 or 15 minutes. There are no essays. It's just asking you, you know, where do you live? What do you want to study? And some basic information about you. There's a one-time $25 application fee that you submit online when you um, submit your application. And then from there, you will set up your account and watch a Bobcat welcome video. And that Bobcat welcome video um, will just kind of introduce you to COCC and the next steps in the process. And then after that, you would provide placement information. So what that means is it tells us what math and writing class you start in. We'll ask you a few questions. It looks different for everybody based on where you're at, um, but we don't want to throw you into a math class that's way too hard. We also don't want you to not be challenged. So we're, this is helping find the sweet spot for you and, and what class you should be in. Um, and then after that, you would go through what we call Bobcat advising and registration. So kind of like in high school, when you meet with your high school counselor and they help you choose your classes, you will meet with um, an academic advisor in college and they will help you look at your major and then lay out your classes that you need to take. And then you can go and register for those classes. So those sessions happen in the summer prior to our fall term. Um, and then the last step is to go through orientation. And Bobcat orientation is a super fun day. It's taught by staff and faculty and students, and it's gonna help you just kind of get rid of those pregame jitters and go over the student accounts and all the really last, really important last minute details that you need to know before showing up for class the next week. And lastly, we want you to connect with us. And so I'm Sophia again, and this is Lindsay. And we have our email and phone down there as well. So please just email us, call us whenever you need, and we can either set up an appointment with you on applying and going through the enrollment steps or just about 
general college information or different programs you are wanting to maybe study at COCC. So we are more than happy to do that. And we can't thank you enough for taking the time to watch this video and hopefully you enjoyed and apply to COCC.